Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be filming my blush collection and um, I don't know if this is going to be a declutter. Um, so for right now, we're going to say that it is a blush collection video. This is the first drawer in my blush collection. So I have a whole second drawer of just blushes. Um, so <laughs> I love blushes. I love blushes. They're like pretty much my favorite uh, face product to use. Next, I would say are highlighters. Um, so I'm going to save the highlighters for last because I know a lot of people like highlighter videos. And then I also have my um, eyeshadow collection video. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start off on this side and we're just going to kind of move our way over. This is going to be a long video. So grab a cup of coffee or something so let me start here in the front i'm going to start off with these these are new ish blushes to my collection i haven't used these as often as i would like to and i apologize if you guys see the ring light there but these are um what's this kiko kiko milano blushes so i have this one here called 03 damask mauve and this is part of the Gold Waves collection. I like these. A few times I have used them. I really like them. They kind of remind me of the Laura Geller baked blushes because these are like a baked formulation there. Um, and I really, really like this one in particular because it's like a nice kind of mauve -y color there. So this is really, really nice for like the fall time. So this one here is called Coral Sunset. This one is the one that I have used the least because it does have this like gold old marbling in it it's a beautiful blush color but it is I don't want to say it's shimmery it's definitely not chunky but it does show up a little bit lighter on my skin tone I don't tend to use blushes that are super highlighting on my face because it just like it overemphasizes the oil and the texture on my face. So I do like this one. I am going to keep it. It doesn't, it's not too terrible in terms of like a shimmering um, blush, but it's not one of my absolute favorites. Next, I have this one here, the California blush. This is from Benefit. Um, it's not really my favorite blush. It's very, very pretty, but honestly, it doesn't wear away super nicely. It is a little bit patchy when you put it on your skin. Um, so it's not my absolute favorite blush. So I actually may declutter this and pass it along to a friend of mine who is looking to try out um, different blushes for her skin tone. So I'm gonna put this one aside to potentially declutter. All right, so next I have all of my Lorac blushes. I'm not getting rid of these. Um, I really like the formula of Lorac blushes. I feel like these are some of the most underrated products out there are the Lorac uh, face products because they just work so well and the Lorac lip products, but that's a different video. So this one here is Chroma. It is one of the ones in their standard line, but this was like a limited edition, like holiday packaging. I just love it. They're super small, super soft, super pigmented. They blend really well. Um, they're not patchy. They wear a really long time. So I definitely love the um, Lorac formula formulation. This one is Luma. This is a satin finish. Um, this one is in a limited edition packaging. I don't know if you can get this. This one is a little bit like chalky and powdery when you first apply it, but then it blends into the skin really, really nicely. And as you can see there, it has like a nice uh, satin finish. So I am going to keep it. I have enjoyed using it, but that's definitely like a springtime, um, I was about to call it a nail polish. Um, it's a springtime blush. So this next one here is called Ultraviolet. It's such a unique color. I absolutely love it. I definitely have played around with it a few times, um, but it's definitely not like an everyday blush, but I, I enjoy having these unique colors in my collection. Next one I have here is Spectra. It's a very nice peachy pink, not this quite the same as um, Ultra. I think it was Ultra, is that the name of it? Lum Luma, Lumi, Luma. 
not quite the same. It's definitely a little bit more like peachier and this is a little bit more pinkier, um, but definitely different finishes. So Luma is a satin finish and this is a matte finish. Then you have Tinge. This one is a little bit deceptive. So it may look like a, um, a very like skin toned blush, but it actually kind of deepens up as you put it on your skin and it turns more into like a nudie um, blush. So I really, really like Tinge. At first I thought it wasn't gonna work well with my skin tone. A little bit deeper is Prism. So this is kind of like a nudie peachy blush. I'm gonna put that right there. So as you can see there, it definitely pulls more nude um, or more peach than tinge does. And then Technicolor is definitely like peachier, like one of the peachier ones in the collection. I absolutely love it. Beautiful color. So that is Technicolor. All right, so the next blushes I have here, these are our all cargo blushes. I love cargo blushes, especially if you are a person who is out and about or you live in an area that has a lot of humidity. Cargo blushes, for the most part, um, are waterproof. And that means that they last a pretty long time on the skin. So this one here is my all-time favorite um, cargo blush. This is called Tonga, if not my all-time favorite blush. This is called Tonga. It is a beautiful, beautifully deceptive, like nudie with a little bit of like a mauve undertone. It's like the perfect everyday blush color. Next I have Key Largo. This is such a bright color. Um, you only need like a little bit of this and um, a little bit of it goes a long way. It's a beautiful like summer color, definitely a bright and intense color, love it. Then you have Rome, when in Rome. So you have this kind of like orgasmy like blush. That's the kind of the best way to describe it. It's like a peachy pink with a little bit of a gold um, sheen to it, not like shimmer or glitter or anything like that. It has this beautiful gold sheen to it. Then we have Bali. Sometimes these blushes are a little bit di more difficult to open. So Bali is very beautiful. I don't know if you can see that. It's got kind of like a like a sheen, like a little flash to it. So it's like a pinky blush with a little bit of like a purple flash to it. It's so beautiful. I love it, love it, love it, love it. Cargo blushes are some of my all-time favorite blushes. I don't know if I've said that before. Ibiza, Ibiza is, this one does have a little bit more glitter in the pan, but it doesn't really show up like that on the skin. It's like a bubblegum pink blush. So a bubblegum pink blush. I'm trying to do light swatches for you guys so you can see like truly how it's gonna show up on your skin. Then we have Los Cabos. This is another super popular um, cargo blush. It's just a peachy pink with a little bit of a gold shimmer. Very, very similar to, oh, what's that one called? Key Largo? No, very, very similar to Rome. There we go. So as you can see, it's very, very similar to Rome, but Rome has a little bit more of like a pinky undertone. And um, this one, Los Cabos, has pulls a little bit more on the peachy side. Very, very similar to the point where you could honestly say you don't need both of them in your collection. And the last one is Laguna, which is another really bright one. You only need a little bit of it and it goes a long way. Um, and it's like this corally, corally colored um, blush there. So that is Laguna. You know what, I'm gonna get rid of one of these two blushes and I'm gonna go ahead and pass it to my friend. I think I'm going to get rid of Rome and I'm going to keep Los Cabos. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get rid of Rome and I will keep Los Cabos. So I'm going to pass, that's two, two blushes that I'm getting rid of on my collection. I'm kind of proud of myself. All right, so next we have a blush here from Bare Minerals. This is called the Natural High. I've tried to get rid of this blush before because it is another like orgasmy type blush. I don't know, I may get rid of it. I may pass it along to my friend um, because I, I just don't, I don't need so many blushes that have this like orgasmy 
um, you know, feel to them. And by orgasm, me blush, I mean like NARS orgasm. I re kind of reference that because it's a super popular blush that a lot of people know what I'm talking about. So I have these two blushes here from Essence. These are the blush up blushes. You have one that goes from like a coral, like a peachy to like a coral color. And then you have a bubblegum one that goes from like a lighter pink to, or a darker pink to a lighter bubblegum pink. I'm gonna go ahead and pass both of these along to my friend. Then I have the Cindy Luminizer. Um, I have a love-hate relationship with this. I have tried to get rid of it a few times. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter it for my collection because I honestly haven't used this. I've tried using it a few times and I just don't like the way it wears. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. These two here are from It Cosmetics. I love these blushes. Hands down love these blushes. So this one is called Sugar Plum. I always wanna say like Sugar Plum Fairy, <laughs> but um, this is just Sugar Plum. And it is kind of a shimmery blush. You could honestly use this side of the blush as a highlighter. So let me show you that there. It is a beautiful like highlighter color. Um, I tend to stick to this side here, but it is a beautiful like mauve blush there. Oh, I just absolutely love it. I love it, it Cosmetics blushes. And then I have this one called Je Ne Sais Quoi. I believe this one is discontinued. And again, it's another ombre blush. This is not as shimmery as the Sugar Plum one. This is definitely a matte formula, um, but I just really, really enjoy this formula. So you have this kind of deeper peach there and you have kind of a lighter peach there. So let me show you a swatch of that. So um, I think it's absolutely beautiful. I really, really love this blush and I love the formula on it and it does last a pretty long time on the skin. So, all right, next I have my one and only Hourglass blush. This one is in Mood Exposure. I do have like the Hourglass like palettes for their blushes, but I don't have any of the full size. This is the only full size I have. And this is just a lovely, lovely blush. It does seem like it would be a little bit mauve but it's kind of like a mauve nude blush. Really, really pretty. Reminds me a lot of Tonga, but they're not quite the same. Then you have this one from CoverGirl. It's the CoverGirl True Blend Blush. This is the medium one. And I believe these are discontinued. This is medium rose. I believe these are discontinued. Again, another beautiful, like, rosy, nudie blush. Absolutely love it. Definitely not getting rid of it. I have these two blushes here from the Estee Lauder, the Estee Edit collection. These are discontinued. You can no longer find them. I found these at a, um, a CCO cosmetic company store. I like them. I'm going to keep them in my collection. This is a nice terracotta-y kind of color. And then you have this one, oh, sorry, the first one was called Koi Coral. I think it pulls definitely more on like the terracotta side than the coral side. And then you have this one in 01 First Lover. This one is my favorite out of the two. So if I were to get rid of one, it would definitely be the coral one. I think it's a really nice like everyday nude color. So now I have my Laura Geller blushes. Um, I got a lot of these off of the, the, oh, can't remember the name of the website. It's run by like Nordstrom Rack. I think it's called like Hot Look or something like that. This one here is called, is the Baked Heart Blush and Highlighter in Pink Valentine. Again, another orgasm like blush, um, but I'm going to keep it. I really, really like Laura Geller blushes. This is the Blush and Brighten in Berry. Love this formula going to keep it. I have the Baked Brulee Blush in Lychee, Lychee Rose. This is a super bright one. Definitely on the shimmery side, but I love it. All right, this is the Blush and Brighten in Golden Apricot. Oh, this is such a beautiful blush. It is such an absolutely beautiful blush. Look at that. Look at that, so beautiful. And then we have Apricot Berry. That's Apricot Berry right there. This is definitely a darker one. So I actually may pass this along to my friend because it kind of makes my skin look a little bruised sometimes. So I actually may pass this one along to my friend. And then I have this one in Boysenberry. Boysenberry, Boysenberry, Boysenberry. Yeah, so that's in Boysenberry. All right, we got rid of a few blushes. I'm 
kind of happy with myself. All right, we got these from BH Cosmetics. These are their duo cheek colors. I have one in Fiji Fun. Fiji Fun right there, as you can see that they're very pigmented. So I'm keeping that one. Then I have Honolulu Hideaway. So let me give you a swatch of Honolulu Hideaway. Very, very pigmented pink color. And then the last one is in Caribbean Coral. Oops, Caribbean Coral. Very, very highlighted, highlighted, very, very pigmented blushes. And I do, I do like the formula. Not all of BH Cosmetics um, products are like worth it in my opinion. All right, so the next blush I have here is the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach blush. I love this blush. I believe this is like an older blush that they used to have from like back in the day. Um, I like it. I really, really do like this blush. I like the formula of it. It has like a nice pretty like gold sheen to it. So I'm going to keep it. Oh, this one is the NYX Ombre blush. Let me see. Yeah, the rest of them are the um, revolution blushes so this one is the nyx mauve me ombre blush honestly it's the only one of the nyx blushes that i really liked and it's just a really pretty like mauve -y nude blush but it's a little bit deceptive so when you first put it on it does seem like it's a little bit on the light side but when you rub it into the skin i don't know if you can see that there the color actually deepens so i'm going to keep this one then I have the Revolution blushes. So I have got three of these. I have the Revolution Matte Blush. I have it in the color Nude. I love these. They're very, very soft, very, very pigmented. Um, you have the one in Beloved. They wear on the skin a really, really long time. You can see how pigmented they are. And then this one is in Fusion. So that one is really, really deep. I may actually pass this one along to my friend because it's such a deep color and I don't tend to use blushes that are that deep. All right, next we have a MAC blush here in Oh My Passion. This is the Pearlescent Face Powder. Honestly, you could swirl all these together um, and you get like a really nice kind of like everyday like peachy nude blush. So I really like that one. These two were part of some type of like holiday collection. You have Yum Yum Yum, which is, these are the Magic Dust Powders. So you have like a bubblegum pink, and then you have um, Sweet Vision, which this is like another orgasm -y type of blush. How many of these blushes do I have in my collection? I don't know. And then the last one I have here, this was part of the um, Star Wars collection, not Star Wars, excuse me, Star Trek collection. So this one is the Strange New Worlds. It's called the Trip the Light Fantastic Powder. I like this one. It's a very pretty color. Love it. I have used it a few times. I got this as part of like a boxy charm. This is the pretty vulgar um, blush. I personally would not have purchased this blush if it was uh, like completely up to me. I had seen the pretty vulgar um, blushes before and um, honestly I wasn't really interested in them but they are really nice blushes but this one is very very dark so I'm gonna go ahead and pass it along to my friend. Then I have the Balm blushes. These I love. I love all of these blushes. You have Cabana Boy which is this nice mauve color. Um, Frat Boy which is this nice peachy color and then you have Down Boy which is this nice cool tone pink color. I know I'm going to be keeping all of these. And then you have these from the Balm as well. I love the Balm for their blushes. You have Balm Springs, then you have Balm Beach, and then you have Balm Desert. So these are really, really nice, but I think I'm gonna pass all three of these along to my friend because like I said, she is looking for blushes to try. And these are three that I'm willing to part with. I prefer these three over these three. And I think she may want to try a couple of blushes that are more on like the nudie side. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass those along to her. All right, moving along. So I have a Milani blush in 05 Luminoso. This is a super popular like peachy pink blush. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it. I have an e.l.f. blush in the color 
Mellow Mauve. This is one of my favorite blushes and it's such an underrated blush. It's like a nudie color blush, but it has kind of like a, I don't know, like a purplish sheen to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that one. Right, so here are my NARS blushes. So I have four NARS blushes. These are kind of expensive. So I have um, thought very, <laughs> thought very much about which NARS blush I was going to purchase. And the first one that I purchased was Sin. This is such a beautiful, unique color. It's like a, like um, a light purpley color with like a gold sheen to it. I love it. I love the way this wears. It don't swatch the best, but they do pick up really nicely with a brush. So that one is Sin. Then I have Outlaw. This is such a beautiful blush, love it, love it. It is a little bit on the deeper side as you can see there, but with a light hand, um, like I said, these do work really nicely with a brush. With a light hand, it's a really nice kind of like rose blush with a little bit of a gold sheen. Then we have Amour. This is kind of like a deeper blush. I did this, get this part, get this as part of like a, um, a declutter, so I may actually pass this along to my friend. And then the last one I have here is Impassioned. I love this one. This is one of my favorites, like a nudie blushes. It doesn't look like much in the pan, but then when you put it on your face, it's like a nudie pink blush. Then I have these three Kat Von D blushes. I was originally going to declutter these. I actually may declutter these because I personally don't like supporting Kat Von D anymore. So I have three of her old school blushes. I have the color Poor Vida, Love Song, and Heartogram. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and declutter these blushes. Just go ahead and do it. I have so many in my collection. I don't need those in my collection anymore. I have the Urban Decay Afterglow blushes. I love these. Cool. So this first one here is Rapture. Then we have Crush, which is a very, very bright colored blush. It's like a bright bubblegum pink blush. Then we have Bittersweet. This is such a cool color, but it's definitely like a deeper purple in comparison to the like Lorac purple that I have. So cool. Love it, love it. Then I have Fetish. Next blush that I have here is Video. It's a really nice, like nudie color. Then I have Indecent, which is like a peachy color. Next, I have Kinky. This one has a little bit of a sheen to it, but not so much where it bothers me, but it does, it is a little bit deep, deeper than Indecent. Then I have Score. And this one also has shimmer, but the shimmer is definitely more apparent in this one um, than in Kinky. So Next two blushes I have are from Dose of Colors. I picked this up as part of their like mint collection. I needed to spend a little bit more money to get some free shipping. Um, so I went ahead and picked up uh, both of the blushes from the collection because I really, really liked the colors and I wanted to try Dose of Colors um, blushes. And they're okay. I think I may actually declutter them. So this one here is in Amazement. And then you have Statement, which is like a nice pinky color. Um, they're okay, they're decent. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and declutter them because I do have so many blushes in my collection that are this color that I prefer the formula to. And the last two blushes that I have here are both NARS Duo blushes. And I have gotten these kind of over the years, like when they've been on sale. Um, and I really do like both of these. These are their high intensity, dual intensity blushes. I don't know how much of that um, that you guys saw. So I said I was gonna keep the Insta Stain, Insta In Stain blushes from um, the Bomb. I got rid of one of the sleek blushes. So I kept the blush in, these are a little difficult to open. I kept the blush in coral because this is honestly a pretty unique color to me. It's got more of like a, um, like a brownie undertone to it. And I got rid of the one in rose gold because it's it's like an orgasm dupe. I kept all of my Ciate London ones. Um, these are like the baked gelée formulation. I did swatch all of them here. Um, so you have Summer Love, which is this one right here. 
This one was Matchmaker, which is that one right there. You have Baby Doll, which is this bubblegum pink one. You have Into Deep, which is this one right there. And the last one is Date Night, which is this last one right here. I kept my Milani blush in Luminoso. I kept the uh, Lancome blush in Blush Sutil, which is this really nice kind of like um, nudie blush. I've rearranged some of this so I moved like my NARS blushes around. I got rid of these um, Fiona Styles blushes because these are discontinued. So we have Maiden Lane, which is this blush right here. These are kind of weird. They're like a mag magnetic closure, but they're a little difficult to open because th they don't actually have like a little spot for you to open them. And then this last one is in Sweetwater. That right there. I got rid of these because they're nice blushes, but I have so many and so many in my collection and I prefer the formula of other blushes in comparison to these. And I also got rid of these two LA Girl blushes. Um, we have Just Natural and Just Radiant. Again, I've liked them, I've worn them once, but I have other blushes in my collection that I prefer the formula to. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of those. I'm going to keep this blush here. This is the Dior Rosy Glow blush. It does seem like a very bright blush, but this is one of those blushes that are like a self-adjusting blush. So you put it on your skin tone and it adjusts to whatever, like your pH and um, hormones are gonna to react to this blush ba basically and make it change color. So I really, really like that. I have one Tom Ford blush. I got this at a CCO, otherwise I would have never played, paid full price for this. This one is in Wicked. I love it. It's a really nice rosy colored blush. I'm definitely going to keep it. I have two Anastasia Beverly Hill like blush trios. I honestly have not worn these yet. This one is in the color Peachy Love, and this one is in the color Pool Party. I like them, I've swatched them. I think I've worn Pool Party once, but I really, really like them, um, and I picked them up for like, I think it was like a 21 Days of Beauty or something like that. I'm gonna keep all three of those. I have three Marc Jacobs blushes. I love these. These are the Air Blushes. I have the color Kinks and Kisses. These are one of those like, um, ombre blushes so I have kinks and kisses which I'm keeping lines and last night which again I'm also keeping and the last one I have here is flush and fantasy which again I'm also keeping this one is my favorite out of all of them because it's like a nudie everyday type of blush so I'm gonna go ahead and keep all three of those these were expensive I bought them for my birthday a couple years ago and then the last ones I have here in this drawer, these are the Estee Lauder um, Pure Color Blushes. I picked these up at a CCO, so I did not pay full price for these, thank goodness, because these are kind of expensive. This is the ombre one, very, very pretty. I like this. If anything, I would keep this as like a collector's item. I know that's kind of weird, but I would. This is a satin finish. This is also a satin finish as well, but the color is Rebel Rose. So I'm definitely gonna be keeping this one. I do really like this one. And the last one, this is a shimmer one in Peach Passion. Ooh, these are a little bit difficult to open. All right, so this one is in Peach Passion. I actually think it's more like pinky than peach, but you know, the name is a little deceptive. So those are my Estee Lauder blushes. So yeah, that's actually um, a pretty good declutter. Let me show you how many blushes I actually got rid of. So I ended up getting rid of all of these blushes. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 26 blushes. So that's not bad for something that I thought I wasn't going to do uh, declutter for. So I'm gonna be passing these along to my friend, whatever she doesn't um, you know, want. I'm just going to um, sell her Mercari or um, keep passing it along to friends who um, would enjoy them. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you do. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And hopefully I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.